Hey everyone, my name is Slash and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install T-Mod Loader and a mod for Terraria on the Mac. Okay, the first thing you guys are going to want to do, you're going to want to go over here to your browser, Safari, Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever you guys are using. You're going to go to this website and I'll post the website in the description below. Anyway, so this is the, the forms Terraria. It'll tell you all about T-Mod Loader show you the the compatible and the current version and everything so if you you can read all that stuff but if you want to go straight to the download you go down where it says download now right here it says current version and then the direct download links so for steam you can do windows mac linux but the one i'm going to be showing you guys today is how to do it for the mac so you click on the download and it should start this download down here now if you want if you guys want to download on windows or linux and you guys can check out another video because I'm not doing it on Windows and Linux. So once this download starts, you're going to go to your finder, go to downloads, and as you can see, it's already downloaded. So you're going to double click on this. It'll open up into the folder. Now you've got this entire thing. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to select everything, shift click on everything. You're going to copy it. Now all you have to do, you should probably just keep this off to one side if you want. You do Command N, you make a new Finder window. Now you're going to click up here, you're going to click Go, and Option, hold Option, and you press the library. Now all you have to do is go to Application Support, I already have it open. Then you scroll all the way down until you see Steam. Now you double click on Steam, you go down here to Steam Apps. You double click on Steam Apps, double click on Common, and I only have two apps, so you're going to click on Terraria. Now, as you can see, there's only two things. There's a changer log, which is which is a good it's a good thing to read every once in a while if you want to see the updates. But there's also the main app, Terraria. So you're going to click on this. Now you're going to Control click or right click if you have a mouse, and you're going to click Show Package Contents. Now it'll open up the, right here. You click Contents, Mac OS, and now you get this entire thing of everything that the Terraria app is using to run properly. So, as you can see, there's a bunch of things right here called Terraria. So, what you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to, the, the one thing you're going to have to do is, so as you can see over here, there's a Terraria.exe. Up here, there's also a Terraria.exe. So if you put this thing in there with the other Terraria.exe, it's not going to run properly. So this, the Terraria.exe that comes in the Tmod Loader download, is the modded Terraria. The Terraria you have right now is the normal Terraria. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to take the normal Terraria out. Now what you're going to want to do is, you, you, if you want, you can make a new folder, but and maybe call it, I don't know, call it Backup Terraria. that now you're going to want to put this in the backup terraria folder just to make sure that you don't lose your normal copy of terraria okay so now you've got this and you've got no terraria exe so all you want to do is you're going to drag this entire every single one all 12 items actually no you've copied it i mean you can drag it in but that would get rid of it here so what since you've copied it all you have to do just control click again Control kick, and now you should be able to paste. Never mind. So you can just command V, and now I've already got all this stuff. So anyway, once you once you paste it in, then it'll show all this stuff. But since I've already got the modded version, I'm gonna not do this. But if you guys want to download the modded version, just let it go in. But since I've already got all this stuff, I'm just not gonna do it. Okay. Now you've got the modded version, and you've got your modded exe. All right, so once you guys get into Steam, you see this is my profile right here. So what you guys are going to want to do, so you guys have the the modded Terraria now in your folder. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click play. So now this will launch the modded Terraria, and it'll, and it'll start, probably get rid of the other Terraria. Now, if you won't lose your characters, guys. It'll always still be in this backup Terraria folder. But if you guys want to play the normal Terraria, you're going to have to drag that Terraria back in and take the other EXE out. Because if you have the normal Terraria and the modded Terraria, it's going to completely mess up everything. 
So now, what you guys are going to do, you're going to open up Terraria. Now, instead of the normal just immediately loading, it'll do this little loading thing. Now, it'll start loading. And now, it's going to do this. I already have a mod in here, so it probably won't do this on your first time. But this is my mod, anyway, that the one I'm using, the Heroes mod. I'll show you guys how to install this one later. So, now, you've got the entire... the This is the mod loader type of Terraria. So as you can see, instead of just single player, multiplayer, achievements, settings, and exit, it added these three new things, the mods, mod sources, and mod browser. So now, you guys are going to click on mods, and you see I already have this mod in. So now ends the tmod loader installation process. Now we're going to start showing you how to install a mod. Alright, first thing you guys want to do is I already have this mod that I'm going to be showing you how to install. So you're going to go down here, and you're going to click on open mods folder. Once you click on this, it'll give you up this entire thing. Now these these two things probably won't pop up since it's the since it's what you guys already have. This is the mod I already have, guys. So it probably won't pop up with you guys. So now you're gonna open up Chrome, and this is the website for the Heroes mod that I'm gonna be using, you guys. Um, I'll post the link in the description below so you guys can try out this mod. It's a good mod. Helps you guys. Dude, just pause time, turn rain on and off, unlimited enchant and sundial, give you new items, you can control your NPCs and stuff like that. So all of these things are pretty cool. So you're going to go down here, you're going to click direct download heroes mod file. Always up to date. You click this, it starts your download, now you've got that. So, once you have your download, you can minimize the rest of this stuff. Now, you have this other folder, Mac OS, you can get rid of this and get rid of the tmod loader thing. So you're gonna make a new finder tab. You're gonna go over here, you're gonna click on the downloads, and as you can see, you have the heroesmod.tmod. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna drag this in to your folder. I already have the heroes mod, so I'm not gonna do it, but once you drag it in, it should bring up the heroes mod. Now, all you guys have to do, you close these two things, you're gonna have to relaunch Terraria, but you don't have to quit out of Steam. You can keep your Steam open. Now, you relaunch Terraria. And then once it launches, you guys will have a mod, pretty much. And then I'll show you a little bit about the Heroes mod. But I don't know very much yet, since I've only gotten it recently. And I'm, I'm not a pro at, at Terraria yet. But I do know some stuff. I know the, the basics and everything about that stuff. So now, as you can see, Terraria is loading up. Now, all you're going to want to do... You're again going to get this loading bar right here. Okay. Now, it'll should it should say right here initializing heroes mod. This is the new mod that you just got. And you can use you can put any other mod you want in there, but you usually all of the Terraria mods are going to have .tmod at the very end of them. So now you've got this page again. You click on mods, and now you've got your mod. This was the mod I had before, but if you guys install another mod, it should be in here. Although, when I got this, it was disabled. So what you're going to do is you're going to enable it. And it, when you enable it, it will say reload required. So you're going to have to reload Terraria again. So now, there you go. That's exactly how you guys add Tmod Loader to Terraria on the Mac. And how you put a mod into Terraria. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys a little bit about the Heroes mod. Just in case you guys want to try it out. So these are this is a new character. Completely new world. So, we're going to show you guys about this. Alright, let's see. Alright, this is the Heroes mod. This is exactly what you look like. This is not nor not normally what you're going to look like. So anyway, now, you can see you have the item browser. And if you click on this, these are all of the items in the game. You can search up here, you can go over to weapons, you get all of the items, and I think they're, ra they're arranged by damage. But I'm not completely sure. They might not be. Yeah, I don't think they're they're ranged by damage. They're ranged by type. So as you can see, I mean, I think the Meow Merit, which does the most damage in the game, is not going to be very high. Never mind. Yeah, you see, it's not very high up, just because they rate it by by the ca ca uh, categories probably. So then all the way over here, you've got the yo-yos, and then you've got other swords made out of ores and stuff. Solar eruption. Now over here, you see this is um right here in the weapons you can pick only melees you can pick only magics only magic weapons you can pick only ranged weapons 
only throwing weapons, and only summon weapons. And of course, only sentry weapons. Now, all of these things are very useful if you guys want to just get a really good character first thing. So now, you're going to click out of the item browser. So as you can see, you can disable enemy spawns. Now, I'm not going to use it right now since there's no enemies around it, but if you disable this, now it says enemy spawns disabled down here in the bottom of your screen. So now, if you want to, you can enable enemy spawns. Now, these other things enable infinite reach. Watch. So I'm going to enable the infinite reach. All right, let's see. In, in, enable the infinite reach. I'm going to grab my axe. And as you can see, I'm chopping the tree. You wouldn't be able to possibly chop the tree from that far away. So now, what you're going to do... All right, put this axe back. So now... Okay, we should probably stop that. Anyway, enable the fly camera. So, I haven't even tried this. Arrow keys to pan. Oh, you can... Oh, you can... Lit wow, that's really cool. Anyway, so that's another cool thing. All right, guys. So, this is another thing down here. Clear items on ground. As you can see, we've got the wood over here. So, if I click this, clear items on ground. It's gone. Now, if I enable this again, I go over here, I chop down another tree... You see, I can clear the items again, like that. So that's pretty, that's pretty useful. Now, change time slash rain. You click on this, it gives you this entire thing. This is stop rain, start rain, stop sandstorm, start sandstorm. That's in the sand biome, obviously. 7.30 at night. You can do noon. You can change, you can pause time, which is really cool. And then you can also force enchanted sundial which is really cool. It, it just does this for the entire thing. So it keeps it keeps moving and it looks much more realistic if you guys wanna try this out. All right, so let's pause time really quick. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, view waypoints. Now, if you wanna add a waypoint, you just click over here, we'll call it home. All right, okay. Now we've got a waypoint and I think, I'm not completely sure, but let's see. Okay, get out of fly camera. All right, let's see. I'm gonna walk really slowly because I'm not sure what's gonna happen. All right, there we go. Um, view waypoints. Now let's see, if I click on this. Yeah, there we go. So it's like a teleporter, but you don't even need to set it up. So pretty much you can set a home, uh, home thing. You can set a thing for the jungle biome, for the dungeon, for whatever you want, which is really, really cool. Ocean, wait, what does that say? Open mob spawn window. All right, so I can even spawn NPCs if I want. Like, I don't even want to spawn any of these really good... Yeah, let's spawn an angler. All right, let's see. So if I click on this, what will happen? Uh, nothing. What do I have to do? Do I have to, like, drag it in or something? All right, let's see. Um, friendly... Yeah, so this is pretty much... You can sp spawn any of the, the, the NPCs, and you can even spawn bosses and stuff. And I think there there are things that come with the mod. All right, let's see. Open buff window. So this is another buff window. You can give yourself a buff for um, whatever seconds you want. That's another cool thing. All right, so we haven't god mode enabled. Not sure what the heck that does. Um, I'll have to research it, but if you guys want to research god mode, we'll see. Prefix editor. Um, oh, I think you can enchant your your sword sword or something. Oh, yeah, dude, this is so OP. Legendary copper short sword. Wait, let's see. Legendary? Give it legendary. I think it did. Maybe it did. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Six melee damage. One more than it did before. All right. So that's another really cool thing. Miscellaneous options. This is a bunch of random stuff. Yeah, set spawn point. Reveal the map. Which is also a good idea. And disable gravestones. I didn't know that was even possible. That's pretty cool. And extension tools. No mods loaded that add extensions. So you can also see the forum post for compatible mods. Which is also really cool. So anyway, thank you guys for watching this tutorial video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And if you guys want to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos on Terraria. And we'll, I'll be starting some Minecraft content soon. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. It really helps me out. I appreciate all of the support. Remember, 
All you always eat your vegetables, respect your elders. Have a good time. See you next time.